transclival approaches are divided into superior, into middle, and the inferior transclival approaches. If we see the superior transclival approach, that is for those tumors which are arising between the cella and the floor of sphenoid. Middle clavel approach is where the tumors or we, we have access for tumors arising from the floor of sphenoid till the till the uh, C1 and something which is lower transclavel is where we have our tumors arising from below the C1. So basically these are the tumors which are arising from the midbrain, pons and medulla. This tumors which are arising. So the basic rule principle in the management of a transclavel tumor is that we have access to those tumors which do not cross cranial nerves. I am Dr. Snehal Shah. I am an endoscopic sinus surgeon, skull based surgeon based in Mumbai. Coming back to the, 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 the basic principles, the first and foremost principle is those tumors which cross midline or which cross the midline but those tumors which are crossing the cranial nerves, they are not the good candidates for endoscopic endonasal approaches. You require those tumors which are anterior, which are going around but not crossing the cranial nerves for the simple reason that it will lead to a cranial neuropathy because of handling of the nerves. We don't, we are not concerned about the CSF leak, but we are more so concerned about the, uh, what we say is the, the neuropathy. We give high and large abducens neuropathy is a nerve neuropraxia which is very common after transclavel approaches. The more, another important part of this transclavel approaches is in the surgical approach a huge amount of defect happens and that's why not only we use a nasoceptal flap but we might also use an inferior turbinate based flap. Now the nasoceptal flap is based on the posterior septal artery which is a part of a sphenopalatal artery. So that flap is nowadays a workhorse flap to cover not only transcellular but also transclavial approaches where we require a huge amount of flap. So what? how do we reconstruct those defects? We reconstruct those defects with a, what we say is a divergent followed by a, what we keep is a fascia nata and over that we keep is a nasoceptal flap. If the nasoceptal flap is a small flap then in that situation we also harvest an inferior turbinate flap. There is something called as rescue flap also that we do because for transclavel you require a really good amount of flap. You the, the other side of the septum, the other side of perichondrium is rotated back and is brought anteriorly. This is a flap which is based on anterior ethmoid artery and we suture it to maintain the nasal septum anteriorly. So for all the approaches, what we do is we cut the middle turbinate we also do a posterior septectomy, we also fashion the nasoceptal flap and once the nasoceptal flap is fashioned, we, uh, we keep that either in the, uh, the maxillary sinus antrum or we keep that in nasopharynx. But something for what we go for a transodontoid approach, we need to keep this in maxillary sinus, uh, minus, maxillary sinus uh, cavity as well. So that apart, the other uh, factors very pertinent to transclavel tumors are those tumors such as epidermoid cyst or for that matter of meningiomas which are arising from that area can have we can have access easily through an endoscope much much better exposure as compared to microscope so if the tumor is accessible through the endoscope one should insist for endoscopic approach more than a, a microscopic approach the hospital stay also goes down the, the, the complication rates are lesser with an endoscopic approach. So definitely for a transclival tumors, a transclival approach is the one is a matter of choice other than going ahead with an open approach. Thank you so much. More to know about this, kindly visit my site. Thank you.